This is writer and game designer Robin D. Laws for Pell Green Video. Um, I've written a lot of uh, GM advice over the years, and if I was to boil that down into one starter tip, it would be to read the room, to pay attention to how your players are reacting to uh, what it is that you're doing and to see how they feel and uh, how they're reacting to what's going on. So uh, if everybody is excited and engaged, uh, the uh, answer to that is just keep doing what you're doing. Um, and uh, if you're really good at it, you can sort of tell when they're just gonna be at the edge of engagement and starting to slip away. Uh, more often though, it's when people are starting to get kind of bored or uh, annoyed uh, with each other or sort of checking out or you know looking at their phones quasi discreetly uh, uh, that you know you need to throw something into the mix to uh, engage them and often it's just a matter of bringing in more suspense and drama uh, sometimes the problem is everybody's gotten a little silly and they're joking and they're uh, digressing too much and so you just want to bring their focus of attention back in uh, a lot of us are playing remotely these days Oddly enough, it's a little easier to maintain focus online just because you have to, uh, I guess also it's partly there's, there's a screen for everybody to look at. We all like to look at screens and the other players are on screens and you have to do that, but also that you have to maintain more attention uh, with uh, the subtle social cues of being in a room together taken away. And oddly enough, that problem sort of uh, solves itself. Um, and also reading the room is telling what the, the mood of everybody is and if the players are starting to get discouraged. Uh, that means bringing in uh, a little win or a victory or an up moment that they can have. And if they're starting to get cocky and finding things too easy, which is less of a problem and happen, happens less often, uh, but then you can add in more suspense. Or if you're just worried that things are going too easy for them, you can always give them another problem to deal with. Uh, and absent anything else, if you can't think of what it is to do, uh, bring in something that is on their character sheet that tells you uh, what it is that they uh, want to do because a character sheet is a list of stuff that they want to see happen. If you want to see more about the idea of taking uh, beats and moods uh, of a story and uh, paying attention to what the players are doing and modulating the mood, you can look at my book Hamlet's Hit Points, which uh, goes into uh, detail on how that happens in other narratives and how you can import that into uh, role-playing games. Uh, but um, basically, uh, reading the room is about being attentive to the other people. And uh, one final tip on that note is uh, it can be hard to read the room if you are talking a lot. So be conscious of whether you're monologuing uh, and try to keep your uh, interventions and descriptions uh, as short as possible so that you can then see what it is that people respond to and give them more of that. So the faster you can get from an introduction of whatever topic it is, uh, whether it's the mores of 19th century Paris or uh, the particular vampire rules that they've discovered by looking at a, a tome or uh, the rules of this alien society, whatever it is, give them as short a snippet as you can of, of whatever it is and then get to a question and answer format so that they're engaging with you and you can see what they care about uh, when uh, they're asking uh, questions and you can make it more interactive. Uh, this has been uh, Robin D. Laws for Pellegrin Video.